Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La Land. We're so excited to have Binks back on the show. She's the African singing bee, of course, spot up <laughs> brand, and releasing a new album. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you all for having me back. Yeah. I'm so excited really? to be is back. The, is the album called Milk or is the song oh, called Oh, no, milk? the song is called Milk. Okay. The album uh -huh. is called Bee from Mars. Oh, what? Bee from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Bowie vibes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah so. so what is kind of the vibe of this new album? Oh, this album is so different from like the first two that I did. The the first one was kind of uh, discovering my individuality, my African roots, and the second album, I kind of went through a, a very traumatic experience, and so a lot of the songs were dealing with with that trauma as well as a lot of heartbreak. So that song was that, that album was a little more dark, and this album is actually a lot more light, a lot more rediscovering myself and uh, finding my happiness again and rediscovering music again. So there's a lot of love songs, a lot of, um, again, individuality, uh, living in Los Angeles, living in Hollywood, dealing with with all of that, moving from New York. So it's a very uplifting album. So your roots, South Africa? or yes, Af South okay, Africa. Okay, I was like, you're not African, okay. I was like, <laughs> do we need to know? Like, no. Um, and then tell us about the trauma. What was kind of the hardest thing you went through? Um, I actually of? lost my dad, <laughs> which I never really talk about, but... Um, yeah, it was definitely, he's the reason I became a musician. So it was one of those things where I didn't want to do it anymore. I'm still dealing with it, but um, I'm definitely trying to channel that hardship into music because I know that's what he would have wanted. So. As um, incredibly um, challenging and uh, sad that must be, did you find that you were able to dive deeper into your musical talent Ooh, in this particular album and, this, and the record? Probably shouldn't have started this as like yeah. starting to unleash a whole load of things, mm -hmm. but um, uh, yes, to answer your question, it definitely has. I've definitely, um, people closest to me have said that I'm writing the best I've ever written, um, performing the best I've ever performed, which is kind of ironic because you, you kind of wish that that happened before, but at the same time, I'm very, I do feel like he writes through me. I even have a lyric that, um, that he's tripping the melodies into my head. So like when I wake up, I, I, I write songs in my sleep, I write songs at the gym. So I'm definitely feeling his presence consistently through my music. Oh, that's so inspiring. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so talk to us about what inspired the name Milk and Be From Mars. Yeah, sure. So Milk, Milk is, I can't actually really pinpoint exactly where I was writing that song, but it was kind of right before I was deciding to move to Los Angeles and I had a lot of people tell me before I even moved to America that they didn't want me to lose my my humble personality and my my roots and to remember where I came from and to not get caught up in the whole Hollywood vibe. Mm. And so Milk was kind of this song I always wanted to write where it reminded me of like my childhood in South Africa and how the most important thing is that I love what I do and you shouldn't do anything if you don't absolutely want to get out of bed and do it every day. So Milk is about coming to Hollywood and it's just kind of like a song full of memories of like my childhood and it's got like memories of my mom, my dad and my brother all growing up in little Elliot in our little snowy hometown there. And so yeah, so that was Milk and then Be From Mars was the most frustrating album title I've ever had to come up with. <laughs> Because usually album titles come to me, but I kind of was able to get back in the studio and record like a bunch of songs. And I had the album title and then I thought it was okay to ask people's opinions on it. Oh no. And I yeah. should never have done that because it drove me insane. I'm sure you all know because you're creatives. Mm -hmm. right? It's interesting though, when you let other people's opinions in, which brings us to how do you like your eggs? Oh yes. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna drop that one. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, so How Do You Like Your Eggs um, is such a quirky song because I'm such a quirky person. But um, it's about, um, it wasn't about anyone. It was the first time I wrote a song that wasn't about anyone specific in mind. It was about wondering if you're ever going to meet that person that you care enough how they like their eggs in oh, the morning. Yeah. So the song is just a very fun dance song about how do you like your eggs? Oh, <laughs> how do you like your eggs? That's adorable. Well, it reminds me, though, that scene from Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts. Have you guys ever oh, seen it? Oh, I'm yeah. obsessed with that movie. And she <laughs> sits down, and she's newly single, and she can't figure out how she likes her eggs. This is, this is. I feel like I channeled this movie. You might have. <laughs> Honestly, I channel things, and, like, Julia Roberts is, like, I even had this diary when I was little, and it was, like, it asks you your favorite things. It was, like, favorite actress. I was, like, Julia Roberts. <laughs> 
She was like my absolute everything. So how do you like your eggs? Oh my gosh, poached with salmon on an English muffin. Wow. wow. That's very specific. That's yeah, very specific. <laughs> It's just like we've had brunch the last weekend and I've been, <laughs> I had it every day and everyone was like, you need to change it up. I was like, oh, no, no. When I like what I like, I do it for a long time and then I switch over. So what do you like yeah. most right. about, you know, being this bee that you've become mm-hmm. and this alter ego, this personality? What do you really like about it? Um, I really like that. I mean, I first discovered it when I was about 16. I've always been into branding and marketing and I just I'm very excited about what it can do for your for anything you know like when I was in New York I wanted to differentiate myself Mm. from everyone so I wanted to dress like a bee because it was my African it was like my African identity and I'm also helping to save the bees through my music so when people buy the albums Mm -hmm. they're helping to save the bees Mm. as well so beautiful amazing oh thank you you have spirit animals you have a spirit insect this is my exactly (laughs) and I'm like I really don't have a weird fetish for bees (laughs) so I always try to explain that to my audience (laughs) things tell us where we can get the music the album find and follow your journey yes so like I've mentioned I've been releasing a single a week uh, for six weeks uh, leading up to the album which will come out On the 8th of November, I'm very excited. Uh, My next song, The Hills, which was inspired about Hollywood, of course, is coming out this Friday. And I just had my album release show on Monday. But yeah, everyone can follow me at Binx Official. It's B-I-N-X Official. Same with Spotify, it'll just be Binx. You type in the African B and it should come up. So great, thank you very much. Thank you so much. We are Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. All of today's interviews are available as a podcast on iTunes, and the whole show is streaming on Never Talk TV and Apple TV and Roku. That's right. We're waking up the world together. Have a beautiful Wealth Wednesday, you guys. Your birthright is prosperity.